another week. Every week my testimony is the same. As long as we have breath in our body, as long as the Lord has given us another day of grace and mercy, I am satisfied. I am grateful. I am thankful for the blessings of the Lord on all of our lives. And I want you to know, I love you. Thank you for listening again today to the Just For You podcast. If this is your first time listening in, I would love to share with you what the Just For You 
podcast is truly all about. The Just For You podcast is designed to encourage, empower, and engage listeners to thrive, I'm sorry, to thrive spiritually and naturally utilizing biblical principles. Just For You will reveal truth embedded in the Holy Bible to illustrate kingdom living, soul winning, compassion, and strategies to serve mankind, making a difference locally and globally. Just For You will allow listeners to hear teachings that are applicable, guests that will inspire, and opportunities for serving more effectively in the home, church, school, community, and marketplace. That is what Just for you is all about. Listen, I am so excited. I'm so excited for a lot of reasons. As I said, the most important is that we all made it back another week. I'm excited that the Lord has been so good to each and every one of us. No matter what we've been through, no matter how it feels, no matter what you're pressing through, I want you to know you can carry your cross. With confidence. Today, that is exactly what we will be talking about. But before we begin our exhortation, I would love if you would join me in a word of prayer. We're just so grateful that the Lord has given us this opportunity to serve again. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for our Lord and Savior. We don't take for granted that you woke us up this morning, that you started us on our way, that you've given us our portions of health and strength, that you've allowed us to complete some tasks on today. We don't take for granted that you've given us families and loved ones, even our enemies, oh God. We say thank you. Father, we We bless you for this time in the gospel. We ask that you lead, guide, and direct us. Bless every listener listening in. Bless our CEO and founder, Dr. Kimmy Robinson, and our Elation Radio and Magazine family. Thank you, oh God, for each and every one of those. I bless you for my husband, my home, and my life in you, oh God, that you are yet a keeper And we know that only we can be kept by you. We thank you, oh God, for the love you have for all of us, for the listeners listening in with their faithfulness, whether it's once that they've gotten a chance to hear the podcast or every week. We're grateful that they met us here again today. Father, we pray for our very special guest today, Dr. Kimmy Robinson. God, would you just be with her, leader, guider, and director? Would you be with my husband on today, God? Strengthen him, keep him. Lord, I'm asking you for greater. Hallelujah. I'm believing on behalf and I'm putting my faith with every listener listening in for greater on today. Now, come in and allow your presence to be known. Let your spirit reign and have your divine will and way, and we will glorify you forevermore. Forgive us of our sins, and we will forgive others. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, listen, as I started off saying I know we all have our days and we have different things that happen. We're all maybe in different seasons. Somebody may be celebrating the greatest season of their life while someone else is going through the most harsh things that they may have ever had to face in their life. I am here to assure you on today that our God will never leave us or forsake us. Whatever state we're in, we are to be content. Let me in a trial, we are to be content. Why? Because we trust him. If we're on the top of the mountain, we are to be content because our heart is to serve others. If we're following this gospel, the way it has been written and given to us, we have nothing but joy, even in the midst of sorrow. On today, we're going to be talking about carrying our cross with confidence. 
carrying our cross with confidence. Well, what do you mean carrying your cross? Your trials, your tribulations, all the things that are heavy on you. Life can get so heavy, and there are times when it smacks you clean out, and you had no idea it was coming that way. How do I know that? Let's look at some things. Remember how the year started off? Everyone was excited to move into January 1, 2021. We never knew what was coming on the next day or that day or the day before. All we knew is that we were believing God to make it to a place of joy in a new year. And that is how the new years usually start. Well, I want you to know some people didn't have that. Some people buried loved ones. Some people lost jobs. Some people's children were acting up. Some people had a lot of other issues going on. Whatever state that we were in, we were to be content. And I want to share with you that when life hits you hard, this trust, this undoubtable feeling of it's going to be okay, this trust that we have in the Lord, if you are in a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, you fully understand you can't make it without him. He constantly, through the word, gives us an assurance. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me, not me by myself, not you by yourself, but in our Christian relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Here's another one that he will tell us about. He says, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Both of those two pivotal scriptures come from Philippians 4. Philippians 4 and 13 and Philippians 4 and 19. Why is that a preface to what we're going to talk about today? It's a preface because you have to understand you've already won. You woke up this morning and you were covered in the blood of Jesus and you won. If you don't know the Lord and you haven't committed to a relationship called the Christian relationship with the Lord, I want you to know there is yet still time while you're breathing, you have breath in your body, your blood is flowing, and all is in within you that you feel is well. Please consider, you can't make it in this life by yourself. I know we have so many, and with respect to all, for their faith, but I know in what I have chosen in my life that the Lord is true and he is faithful, and he does what he says. He's true, he's faithful, and he does what he says. It's important to remember that because when you get hit by life, you can forget it. Sometimes you can be so hurt that you don't know what to do, and the word is the only thing that can sustain you. Why? Because our human flesh will allow us to fall apart. But our trust in God will give us strength. So on today, I want to strengthen you with some scarce scriptures that you can go back, read, and understand for your current day situation. It's important to have something to hold on. I often say, when you go through, have a word. Why? Because it will be my focus. Versus what I'm going through It'll be that thing that keeps me When I want to fall apart It's the strength that I'll have When I know I just can't do it In my own self So let's talk about those scriptures Let's start with Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 The scripture says Trust in the Lord with all thine heart Lean not to thine own understanding But in all your ways Acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. That's the word. So let me go back and say, when it says in all thy ways, that doesn't just mean when you're shouting. It doesn't mean when you're just throwing up your hands. God, I glorify you. It doesn't mean that 
when when you're just in that place. It means that when you're angry, when you don't know what else there is to do, when you're stumped by life, when you don't see a way out, when you don't understand even why things happen the way they happen. I am here to assure you that the word of God is true. He said, if you acknowledge him in all your ways, then he shall direct your path. The question we should ask is, is he directing our path? You know, there are times that there were people in the Bible that were mocked, they were laughed at, Um, because of their faith in God. But guess what? The more they stood, the more they understood the word, the more they believed, God proved what he had promised. Has God promised you something on today? And it looks like it's no closer to you than when you woke up this morning, you could say in your heart, yes, God, I believe. But then something happened throughout your day, and it made you say, wow, what's really going on? Let me give you another scripture to encourage you. Jeremiah 17, 7 through 8. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Have you produced in a dry season? Have you allowed yourself to be watered in the word that the fruit that needs to come out of you is productive fruit? It's a fruit that you can look upon and see the hand of God that you know you couldn't have done it by yourself. Have you ever seen someone, and I've just been paying attention to so many people that are in their 80s and their 90s and their 100s and some 110. They're like what this scripture talks about. They're able to function, they're breathing, they're living, and yet their years speak for their lives. Just recently, we lost an entertainment icon, a believer of God, Cicely Tyson. But when I say you look at the pictures of Cicely Tyson and understood that she passed at 96, that shows the power of God in her life, that he sustained her, he kept her, he nourished her, and he allowed her to use her gifts until the end. It is recorded that her book was out in two days before she died. She was still producing fruit. Who am I talking to today in the midst of what you're going through? Can you produce fruit and bear fruit in a dry, in a dry place? I want you to keep listening because I promise you, you can. Psalm 37 and 3, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Have you ever been walking down? Maybe you've been on a beach. Maybe you've been near water where the grass is just so vibrant and you can put your feet in the warm grass and you walk and there feels like there is safety. That's just a tad bit of what it means to trust in the Lord and feel safe. Feel safe when all the world around you is falling apart. Feel safe when it seems like there's no place else to go. When you can feel safe when everything around you is chaotic. Psalm 5, 6, I'm sorry, 56 and 4. In God, whose word I praise, in God, I trust and am not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Think about that. We have so many things going on. 
And this world tends to believe it has power over the people of God, over the faithful people, over the people that choose to say our God reigns. And yet we understand our faith, our belief in him will carry us through. Are you looking at something so difficult that you don't believe you'll make it through? Are you looking at something that seems nearly impossible to get through? Are you facing something so harsh it's breaking your heart or pulling you into? I want you to know that word will keep you. First John 4 and 16. And we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. Isn't it wonderful to know that if you love God and he's in you, you're in him, he's abiding with you. So let me ask a question. Why is it then that if we have this powerful, all-knowing, all-seeing God within us, do we fear? I will share why. Because the Bible says there's no good thing in this flesh. But yet our ability to tap into our faith, to understand, even though I may be shaken, I still trust you, God. Not because I don't trust you, but because this flesh, it sometimes will trick us, okay? It will make us believe things that are not true. If he says you're going to be healed and we get a bad report, immediately our human side, our mankind side will say something's wrong and this is not going to come out in my favor. Instead of us saying, look, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I am an overcomer. The word of God says in Romans 8 and 37, nay, in all these things, not some of these things that we're going through, in all these things, are we more than conquerors through him that loved us? That's the gospel. James 1 and 6. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. You're going every which way, and you really don't know what to do. When we're in trouble and we have a God and we have trusted counsel, then we are to do that. We are to believe God, his word, and those he assigns to our lives, those that he'll give to give you an encouraging word. Why? Because he knows that we will fall apart without it. That's me. That's you, that's anyone, will fall apart without him. We must understand he is God. He makes no mistakes, and he cares about us in whatever situation we are in. Psalm 28 and 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song, I praise him. Do you have a song that you sing when you go through? You know, I thought it was really interesting if we really think about when God allows us to have a homegoing celebration. There are songs that are sung to uplift the family, uplift the atmosphere, uplift what the life of that person has been. Songs are powerful, and it's important not only to have a word, but have a song. I remember my mom and my grandmother and those that I know were strong women, and let's not exclude men of faith. But women have a tendency, uh, especially the older women I grew up around, they would moan, uh, they would hum, they would sing a song that we knew no matter what was going on, something was about to change. How did we know that? Because the song that was chosen for the hour, for the moment, was enough 
to carry us all through. I was a little girl and can remember when I heard a hum or heard a sound. You better hear me. There's something about something you hear that's powerful in your atmosphere that will get your attention. What song do you have that will get your God's attention when you're going through? What song do you have, as David said, that would allow you to encourage yourself? What song do you have that will bring joy in the midst of sorrow? These are things that we have to stand on to give us strength, to give us strength. Psalm 16 and 1. Keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. Do you remember hide and seek? Someone would call out numbers or whatever they did, and you run and hide, and it was them that they had to find you. Do you know that's the way life is? But God is a God that always finds us because we, he's never lost. We usually are lost. And we can take refuge. Ever been someplace? I know some people when they were hiding, baby, if you had a good hiding space and nobody could find you in that hiding space, you felt safe. You felt secure. You felt like no one could harm you or come and get you. Do we look at life that way with the Lord, that we run to him and we are safe? We're so safe that his arms around us help us to know that no matter what we're going through, we're going to make it. It helps us to remember that life isn't as hard as it appears, even when we've been really beat up on in life. Do we understand that he will make a way out of no way? It's important to understand where your trust lies. Isaiah 26 and 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. What does that mean? You can keep me in perfect peace when the world is falling apart when things just don't seem like they're adding up right, what does that mean you will keep me in perfect peace? The key element is trusting him. It's trusting him. Here's a scripture that has carried me through. For the last month, when things happened that threw me all off guard, and I couldn't understand it, but he gave it to me before it happened. And the scripture says in Isaiah 43 and 2, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. What does that mean? When trouble comes in and it's overwhelming, it won't overtake you. It won't overtake you. Somebody needs to hear that today. It will not overtake you. You will get through it. But you got to keep your mind stayed on him. You got to believe that in the midst of every negative report, of everything that doesn't go right, of everything that appears like it's not working for you, it's working against you, and everything that it is, as Romans 8 and 28 says, working for your good. Listen, I was devastated, literally. Coming home, opening my door for a river, a real river of water coming out of my home. At first, I stood in disbelief, 
had no clue of like really like what is going on. But to recognize God literally shifted me. And in that shift, I had to believe at that moment, God, what do you need from me? I'm willing. Didn't know what I was going to do at that moment. Have you ever been in a situation you just couldn't put your hand on, your mind couldn't be wrapped around at that very moment what you were going to do, but you knew to call on the name of the Lord? Who am I talking to today? In the midst of your carrying your cross, you can have confidence recognizing God has seen every situation there is to be seen. There is nothing new under the sun. Whatever I'm a witness, whatever you need, he will provide. It's not in your bank account. It's not in what you own or have. It's not in the things the world has taught us. It is in our faith and belief that he is God. And when you have God on the inside of you, when you have what you need to supply and be supplied in life. God has a way of getting his glory out of your life. You need to beware today. Here's your disclaimer. Be careful saying, Lord, use me as you will, and be prepared to go through the warfare and the process it takes to get what God wants out of your life. It may not come the way you're thinking. It seems wonderful to just go through the process and be rewarded in the end, and God bless you. But some of us, have to go through the fire, and it's not because of any harm like they did Nehemiah, and they told Job, what must you have done? No, it is because God trusts you. Come on. Somebody better hear that today. He trusts you, and he knows you trust him. How do I know that? They tell me with Job. Job, in the midst of his pain, said, though you slay me, yet will I trust you. Then you look at Nehemiah building the wall on assignment, not trying to listen to anybody to take away from what God gave him to do in his life. And here comes the naysayers. Here comes the ones that think, man, you're crazy for doing what you're doing. Hey, you know you're crazy for going through this process the way you are. You know, and when you hear this, come on, let me help somebody today. When you hear the whisperer in your ear that says something like this, well, you know, there's other options. Well, you know, what I know is that my God reigns. And he's forever supreme in our lives. He's never left me. He's never deserted me. He has always taken good care of us. And I recognize he's going to take real good care of us now. Why? Because he knows how to do for his children. Are you feeling like maybe he forgot about you? Just seems like it's just so hard and it's pressing and you are caring and yet you don't know. How much longer you have to carry that cross? Let me remind you, there is strength in your trials. It comes to make you strong, not for you, because nine times out of ten, it's for somebody around you watching you go through your trial, and you tell them God is real. But yet you can't believe he's real. The devil is alive today. We are believers, strong and mighty, strong in the presence of God, through him and in him alone, not by our own doing. Know today there is confidence in your testimony. Even when at times you can be fearful, he loves you. He's concerned about you. He hasn't given up on you. He will make wrong things right if we let him. And he will be all we need and more. I want you to be encouraged today that the trust you have in him won't fail you. It won't fail you. In closing, I want to share this last scripture with you regarding trust and confidence. 
It is found in 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. For the just shall live by faith and not by sight. The just, the ones that just believe in, just trust him, just can't live without him. The just, the just live by faith and not by sight. I pray today that this exhortation will help you to understand You can carry your cross with confidence, and you're not always going to have to carry your cross. The Bible tells us one of the fruit of the Spirit is long-suffering. It's not shouting all the time. It's not praising him all the time. There are seasons in our life. And whatever season you are in, I am either celebrating you or praying for you. But whatever your season is, to God be all of the glory. I'll say it one more time. To God be all of the glory. I pray this week's exhortation has strengthened you, it has helped you, it has given you what you need to run on and see what the end's going to be. That has helped you to understand you're not in this by yourself. I just shared with you, we're all going through something, but it's still all right because we're more than conquerors, not just conquerors, more than conquerors, the word says, through him that loved us in Romans 8 and 37. Every time you get down, find you a song, find you a word to hold on to. I pray the Lord will bless you with that. And that you'll be able to gain strength if you felt weak. And that you'll be able to run a little longer. But most of all, that you can look to the hills from whence cometh your help. Recognize all of your help. Not some of your help. All of your help. Coming from the Lord thy God, who has made the heaven and the earth. May God bless you on this week. May you find favor and strength. Well, listen, today we have a very special guest and our very dear sister. I'm so excited to have her on. Listen, I know she's an excellent and amazing mom. She's an entrepreneur, a gifted woman, an anointed vessel of God. When we first met, it was like God put us directly in contact with each other over a series of time until he brought us together for his purpose. She has a wonderful entity. She's going to also share with you on today, but I'd like to introduce to some and present to others, none other than our wonderful and fabulous founder and CEO of Elation Radio and magazine, Dr. Kimmy Robinson. Dr. Kimmy, are you there? Hello, hello. How are you? I am excited, excited. God is so good, and it's such a pleasure and an honor to have you on today. Oh, thank you. Um for having me on, and I just love this wonderful podcast. You are always on it, and I really Mm -hmm. love your spirit. So thank you so much for having me on. I count it all joy. Mm -hmm. This is a fellowship with you, my sister. So keep on doing what you're doing in the Lord because it's paying off, and 
I love you, sweetie. My God. Well, I definitely love you and your family and our relation family, and I'm grateful you are on. Thank you so much for those kind words. Listen, I want to dig right in, and I want to let people know, first of all, I said some words about you. You're an amazing mom. You're an entrepreneur. You are an anointed vessel of God. I want to know, when you first began, um, we often share our lives and our testimonies about how great God has been. Can you share with the listening audience on today about the things the Lord has done for you? And I know we hear these titles, but they need to understand our faith carries us through. So for those who don't know you, would you share with them about your journey and who you are? Well, my name is Kimmy Robinson, also known as Kimmy Kim. I am a servant for the Most High God, and I carried carried that privilege with a big, big smile. And, yes, it comes with some trials and tribulations. And, no, they don't always feel good, but I trust my Lord. Mm -hmm. Um, So that Mm -hmm. is the most important title that I carry. Um, I am a mom, a daughter. Mm -hmm. I love people. I love serving people. I believe in um, sharing love. I believe in sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am a love um, follower. I follow after the love of Christ. Am I perfect? No. But I strive each day Mm -hmm. to be more and more like him. And that is who I am. Everything else is just, you know, things that God has given me, but they don't make up who I am. I am a servant of mm-hmm. the Most High. He calls me his daughter. And so that is who I am. Titles doesn't dictate who I am, but the Lord does. Come on. And, you know, I love that about you because we often talk about serving and how important it is, not only within the four-wall structure, but on the outside yes. of the church because the world is watching. I just have a burning question that you've probably answered before, but I want to know. So how and what made you want to be able to share this gospel with the world, with the platforms that you use? Well, the reason being because um, growing up, people often think that you can't have fun in the Lord, mm-hmm. and being a Christian is boring, and it's all stricted, and God is in this box, and you have to act a certain way. And I said, shame on those people who created that mm-hmm. man. God is not in a box. In a box, mm-hmm. God wants your creativity, whether it's rap music, poetry, those traditional songs, whatever you do well, you can bring those same tools to the Lord. And so, um, mm-hmm. Elation Magazine was designed to create a platform to those who don't understand that you could just be yourself in the Lord. Of course, you're going to change mm-hmm. because when you have that love, God in your heart, you don't want to be the same. You're going to help others. You're going to um, mm-hmm. go out and feed the hungry. You're going to feed the need. But at the same time, mm-hmm. um, you're still being real with yourself. I mean, you may be an author. You may be a writer. You may be a mm-hmm. um, a dancer. You may be a pastor, a bishop. Uh, but every gift matters in the body of Christ because he yeah. has given us all gifts. And your gift is not less than any other, and so don't ever feel threatened because we mm-hmm. do have believers who believe because they are a, a pastor or apostle mm-hmm. or a singer, and they get seen, they're get they seen like more often than the ones behind the scene. But I have to remind mm-hmm. people, Jesus was behind the scene. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. And he yeah. was a servant, and that was yes. uh, made him great. Was his relationships, and we often see yes. in the world today, everybody uh, has what they're doing and how they're doing. But I do know relationships matter um, in the yes. church; they matter outside the church; they matter. Mm-hmm. And so I thank you for sharing them. Now, listen, you gave a wonderful segue into the next question I have for you. So with us being Christians and loving the Lord and praising him and these gifts that he's given us, 
um, by profession. I know you have a wonderful career. Would you share with the listening audience what your gifts are in the professional world? And then we're going to talk about your new entity that you're birthing forth and the things God is using you to do in this hour. Absolutely. Well, my professional world, uh, my bread and butter is accounting. I have always uh, mm-hmm. loved accounting. I've been doing it for over 20 years, and that is what I do, but it is not who I am. I am still a servant of, of the Most High God. I have two master's mm-hmm. degrees because of God. Mm-hmm. I have a master's in business with an emphasis in accounting, and I have a master's in accounting, and now I'm currently working mm-hmm. on my CPA, but that is not who I am. Mm-hmm. I am still mm-hmm. a child of God. And so um, mm-hmm. at this moment, God is birthing in me to you know, start a um, um, bookkeeping slash accounting firm um, that will help small businesses and nonprofit with their bookkeeping because they may not be able to handle bookkeeping and trying to stay focused on their purpose. And so I would like to offer services at a very, very, um, you know, affordable price. And secondly, my goal is to you not know, just be your client but to um, develop a relationship develop of how we can do better of well, what I can do better mm-hmm. or bring in my resources from other can help you maximize mm-hmm. your profit and the name of the company is Confirm Accounting and uh, mm-hmm. it, it was brought out to my attention really believe me or not by an old friend of mine by Bruce Carter he gave me that name and I was mm-hmm. like you know what I actually mm-hmm. like that name so Confirm Accounting is basically safeguarding uh, the bottom line um, not profits have bottom line for profit has bottom line and so I just want to be a tool or a help to those who need my services. So I do all types of bookkeeping services. So you're welcome to just reach out to me. And I don't do this for money. I do this for relationship base. And mm-hmm. I know that uh, once God uh, continue on giving me the strength to just go and do it, I, I will be very successful at it because I enjoy the accounting piece with the uh, art of developing relationship. And as my business grow, I want to help those who don't have accounting degrees or who don't have, mm-hmm. you know, any trade on what accounting really is. And you will love it. It's just basically, you know, analyzing. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not hard work. Mm-hmm. The book, the, the education teaches us that it's really hard, but it's not really hard once you do the technical piece. And so I would like to, um, you know, train those um, of bookkeeping, you know, the, um, those who are overlooked, those who tend to be, you know, want a second chance. But, you know, sometimes we don't get the second chances because of mm-hmm. the world that we live in. Live in. So mm-hmm. also to help and be assistant and guiding um, jobs for those in our communities as well. So mm-hmm. that and what is awesome. what confirmed accounting is, yeah. But, you know, I love that. And then I do want to say to you, and I want the listening audience to hear this, perhaps you're a nonprofit or you're interested in bookkeeping services. It is an honor and a privilege to, first of all, as a believer, work with another believer uh, for a lot of reasons. And then there is the business side. She mentioned that she does not do it for money, but let us be assured that all things cost and to be a blessing. Uh, I have found those that serve with the right heart. God always takes care of them, but he always blesses them for what he knows is due to them. And so I know Kimmy to be, first of all, as a personal reference for her, that she is stay, she is a reliable, she's a thinker. She is really someone that is gifted, not only in her gift of what she does for our podcast, but also what she does for others. She loves accounting. And listen, I don't know, Kimmy, if you were this child when you were younger, that when everybody, you know, when most of us got our money, we just put it in our <laughs> I was pocket. Shy. We didn't know how to count it. We did. I bet you were that daughter that pulled those quarters apart the dimes apart, the nickels apart, added it together, and you knew how much money there was. I can just feel it. I know you did. Oh, uh, not only as I a child, but you. as a as a um, early twenty year old, you know, uh, uh-huh. getting my little pennies to add them up to see how I was going to mm-hmm. make it. I was a poor college student. 
<laughs> I remember those days, me and my girls. Yeah, yeah. we were poor. Yeah. We weren't poor. We were poor. Yeah. <laughs> As Pastor Jones would say, we yeah. were poor in college. <laughs> and look oh, at what the Lord has done, though. He's taking your vision yeah. and he's taking your gifts and he's using them for the body of Christ and the business world. And I highly urge you, or if you are in need of these services and you want God to bless, your business, please, please get in contact with Kimmy Robinson. Dr. Kimmy Robinson can help you out, and I know that she is trustworthy. You know, in our area, sometimes it's very difficult for people because they know or they feel like, ah, I can't trust persons, and especially if people have been wounded and hurt before, it's very difficult. But in this process, And especially when it comes to money, it is wonderful to have someone you trust. So, Kimmy, if someone's listening out there, um, before we let you go, I just want you to give out Mm -hmm. that information, and we're going to come back and give it out again. Uh, Could you share with the listening audience, for those who are interested in obtaining your services and wanting to connect with you, what is their best way to connect with you? Absolutely. My name is Kimmy Robinson. I am the uh, owner of Confirma County, and you can reach out to me at 314-546-8567. And it's tax season, so I do um, do individual taxes, affordable prices. You don't need to go to the Jackson, Hewitt, and the H&R Block. And I can also do the same returns, and very affordable. I can do up to 1065 tax returns. I will be working on 1120s very soon. Um, but I am also mm-hmm. on Facebook, LinkedIn, under Kimmy Robinson. You can Google me. You can reach out to me. And also I have good news to those business owners who are looking for funding. I have an opportunity of helping you to get funded. And you are only Woo-hoo! paying 1% back 20 years. You get 20 years at 1%. So I can help you with that as well. And, um, yeah, I just love helping. And I love small business owners. Um, so whatever I can do to maximize your profit, please reach out to me, and you will not be disappointed. Absolutely will not. And, Kimmy, I want to know, what is your – do you have – now, let me tell you something about my sister, too. It's nice and wonderful and professional as she sounds. Just guess what? We love gospel rap. Isn't that right, Kimmy? Oh, like, I love hip-hop. Love Come on now. Gospel <laughs> rap. I love now, it all. I love country I music. I love it all. Come on. <laughs> and we even have people in our Elation family that are yes. artists, and we adore them. You know, we have uh, yes. our own brother, Curry. We have David Benson. We have Shay Seven. Yes. You know, Shay sings, but I bet she can rock a little bit and rap, too. She's oh, just I think so. She, but she can. Yeah, yeah. I believe yeah. so, too. I think. <laughs> I bet she can rock with a mic. Yeah, I believe that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, I've said that because, again, perceptions of people, but there is joy in music, and music comes yes. in all forms, and even with gospel mm-hmm. rap, like you may mention before, in the church, uh, it has not always been accepted, you know, uh, it doesn't take all of that, but there are artists that can only reach certain people because that's their mm-hmm. gift, and God has given it mm-hmm. to them, so it's a pleasure to be able to see all the gifts in the body of Christ and continue to serve God in the way that he created us all in our various gifts. Um, Before we let you go, Kimmy, I always ask, uh, for that listener that's listening out there, uh, you may mention, too, you said something very critical about sometimes in life we don't always get a second chance. And maybe a person has been a CPA or they've been through some things or maybe life has just dealt them some really rough things. How is it that they can continually believe? Because you're a believer. You have astronomical mm. yes. How is it that they can continue to hold on and believe in our God that he will pull them through? Can you share that with the listening audience on today? Absolutely. Trust the process. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I'm still I'm still um, about to reflect on Jesus when he was in Patmos, and he was saying, oh, 
not my I, if if you can pass this cup for me, please, but not mm-hmm. my will, but your will be done. So, um living for the Lord is very challenging. But I have come to realize I'd rather have um Christ in my life because you're going to have trials and tribulations with mm-hmm. God mm-hmm. or without. Mm-hmm. It rains on the mm-hmm. just and the unjust. But that being said, when we have God on our side, he fights on our behalf. It says in Chronicles, the battle do not belong to us but to the Lord. So you may see yourself in a dark place right now, but remember mm-hmm. Psalms 23? It says, as I go through. So you're going through that darkness. But at the yeah. end of the day, you're gonna see that light. It's gonna come out, and you're gonna be you're gonna be amazed, and you're gonna say it was nothing but the grace of God. So He is stretching you. He is molding you to become more and more like His Son. So trust the process. It does not feel good when God uses yeah. you. Anyone who thinks that it's gonna be a feel good thing when you become a believer is not. But the best thing wow. of that is is that He would never place more on you than you can bear. So I can take that mm-hmm. to the bank. Yes. Mm. And I agree with you. Hey, you inspired me. I got a little rap song. I see the light. Uh, I see the light. Uh. Come on, don't come everybody on. taste it. Don't everybody come taste on. it. Don't everybody <laughs> taste it. You know what? But I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask David like, uh. um one day if he can do a a uh recording sessions with all of the Elaine's yes. family and we do a yeah. theme song and he that would be dope. I want to see that. You that know, go to the be. studio that in Knoxville, be. Tennessee, and do a yes. uh, a rapping song. That would be crazy. That's right. but, hey, I said lit. <laughs> but Listen, lit and I'm down people. with We used to say dope. <laughs> and he'll probably go, well, this is a little interesting. Um, but yeah, yeah, that'll yeah be, that would be I fun. I think that would be fun. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, be, I believe in having be. fun. And even, hey, before we go down there, we have our own Pastor Curry here. Listen, we can just say, hey, can you just, like, drop a beat on us? Can you just, like, drop a beat? I can hear him now. He probably said, uh, you know, it just came out of nowhere. Hey, I I used to beatbox now. Okay. All right. Okay. (laughs) I got a little something. I used to beat box, you know, back in the days, you know, when Salt and Pepper came in. Girl, I was a big Salt and Pepper fan. Hey, don't hate me. Don't hate me. Hey, I still. (laughs) There's nothing to hate. They were just on my time, and they did really well with their story. But I want you Uh to know I appreciate you. I value you. I celebrate you. I know this is Black History Month, and I want you to know I celebrate you, my sister, for all the accomplishments you've made through the years and all that you are to do. We're looking forward to what God is going to birth in your confirmed accounting, and we know that it is working for your good. Listen, you've just heard from our very own Dr. Kimmy Robinson, uh, extraordinaire. Uh, We love her so dearly at the Elation family, and you will love her too. Please, by all means, get in touch with her on Facebook under Kimmy Robinson. You can find her on LinkedIn under Kimmy Robinson. And believe me, you won't be disappointed if you reach out. And believe me, some people don't answer back. Kimmy will answer you back. So make sure if you're interested in her services, um, you would love to connect with her. Please, by all means, do so. Listen, we're coming to the close of another podcast. I want to, as always, let you know, uh, we know we're all Uh, facing some things, and some may not need some things, but if you do, there are resources that are available. We have United Way at uh, 211. You call that number, they'll be able to get you information uh, for what can be given to you throughout this season if you're having a hard time. Also, they are a referral service. So if there's something that you need that uh, maybe it's not, you can't think of it, or maybe you don't know anyone with that resource, they'll be able to direct you. We also have the Urban League St. Louis. We are in the St. Louis, Missouri area, and they are also willing and able to help you. But I also want you to know the greatest help of all time is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's able to come in, save you, heal you, deliver you, and provide everything you need. 
Keep that in mind when you're seeking help and resources. Not only that, I want you to know if this is your birthday month, I celebrate you, and I want you to know what an awesome time it is to celebrate your accomplishments. Maybe you had a new baby, moved into a new home, maybe you're graduating, I don't know, but whatever it is that is so precious and worthy of celebration, I want you to know here at Elation Radio, we're celebrating you. This is Black History Month. That means there are a lot of accomplishments that African Americans and black people have given to our world, and we celebrate them during this month, but not in this month. I know there's some other companies. I'm not going to drop a name because they're not a sponsor on me. They say 365. So I want you to know everyone is to be accomplished, but this is Black History Month, so we celebrate African Americans that are doing a great and wonderful job. This weekend, is what the world calls Valentine's Day. Let me assure you, if you don't have a loved one or someone special in your life and you feel like everybody's all, and I'm going to say the word, booed up, and you're not, guess what? The greatest boo we should have is the Lord because even with that, He's greater than anything that we can ever imagine. And I am praying. If it's your heart's desire to get married, I am praying with and for you. And if it is that you're you're content with being single, God bless you as well. Whatever your heart's desire, just don't let this world make you feel you're not loved because you truly are. If you've had some other circumstances going on in your life that has disrupted your lifestyle and things have gotten out of whack, I want you to know here we're praying for you and just for you. And as we get ready to close, I want you to realize that the best, I said it, the best is yet to come. And so every day that we wake up, the best is yet to come. Why? Because we have an opportunity. We have time to be able to complete some tasks, to do the things God wants us to do, that we can please him, so that when our time comes, he can say, thou good and faithful servant, well done. Will you close out with me in prayer? It has been a wonderful day, and I know God is getting ready to do marvelous things for us all. Just know I love you. If you'd like to contact me personally, it is Michelle with one L, M I C H E L E, right? W R I G H T on Facebook and LinkedIn. On IG, Instagram, it is His Blessed Girl 7. And I would appreciate your comments, your thoughts. I read them. I'm so blessed by them. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your prayers, your love, your support. It means a lot, and I thank you. So as we get ready to close, I want you to know I'll be lifting you up. Please continue to lift us up in all of our needs. We're trusting God to provide. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you again for another week, another podcast. Father, we ask that you will keep your hand upon each and every one of us, the listeners and those that were here to replay. Lord, would you be with us all? Lead us, guide, and direct us. Would you remember the families that are in their hour of bereavement? Will you remember the one in the hospital, maybe the person that's homeless? Will you remember, oh God, that we all need you in some capacity or another? Father, we are praying for our loved ones, family, friends, and enemies that need to be saved on today. Would you save on today? Would you heal on today? Would you deliver on today? We're trusting you. We have our full trust in you. We recognize we can't make it without you. We need you. It is not like we can live without you at all. We love you and adore you. We ask, oh God, that there are circumstances that may not be in put in this prayer. You see every prayer request. You know every family. You know every individual. You know what is needed. Father, we ask that our angels take full assignment over these and that your 
perfect will will be done and that lives will be changed, families will be restored, marriages will be stronger, peace will be upon us. God, you will be the provider of whatever we need and that we will have joy in the midst of sorrow. We will know you are our God because you're strong and you are mighty and we'll forever tell somebody how great you are. Thank you, thank you for loving on us so much. Now, God, we ask that you forgive us all of our sins because we have them, whether they're seen, unseen, known, or unknown. We sin, and we ask that you forgive us of our sins, and we forgive others that we may be forgiven. Be glorified in our lives, and we will thank you forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, thank you again for listening to the Just For You podcast with Pastor Michelle Y. Wright. And until next time, we pray that the hand of the Lord will be upon you, that he will protect you, keep you, and provide for you, and that his perfect will will be done in and through your life, that your gifts will explode. And we decree and declare you are victorious in the name of Jesus through the heartache and the pains you may go through that he is a heart fixer and a mind regulator. I want to also say thank you to the Lord for keeping my brother, Antoine, who was in the hospital in December with 14% of his heart being working. And God did a miracle when they went in on yesterday and found no blockages, the power of prayer. Don't you ever dismiss the power of prayer. What he's done for me and my family, he can do it for you. And he will do it if you allow him. Now, until next time, 5.30 Central Standard Time and the evening on Wednesdays, meet us here again at Just For You, at the Just For You podcast with Pastor Michelle Y. Wright. May God bless you until next time. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Just the way I walk Been set free Cause my father paid the cost No I'm not perfect God just forgave me Got a new swag Praising Christ like I'm crazy This my Christ swag Yeah My Christ swag Yeah This my Christ swag Okay My Christ swag Yeah This my Christ swag Yeah My Christ swag Yeah This my Christ swag My Christ swag Yeah Yeah I'm from the street South of the arch, man, where I used to drink, roll up, and used to spark, man. Now I got my hair straight, shining like a million bucks. Christ elevated me, going past the ceiling, bruh. St. Louis did it. God Squad t-shirt, homie, how you doing? Please to meet you, this my rebirth. Addicted to the word, it's pumping through my artery. Faith on the meal, the swag is a part of me. Now my glow bright. Souls been redeemed, covered in the blood, no shower, cause I'm clean, done playing games, rid of the Xbox, almost flatline, but Christ made my chest pop, walked on the edge, the devil made me wobble, Jesus took the wheel, fast forward, full throttle, still in the hood, got that street slang, mixed with the spirit, it's a G thing. Deep high talk, talk, just the way I walk, walk. Been set free, cause my father paid the cost. cost No, I'm not perfect, God just forgave me Got a new swag, praising Christ like I'm crazy This my Christ swag, yeah My Christ swag, yeah uh-huh. This my Christ swag, okay. yeah My Christ swag, yeah God squad, this my bruh Christ swag. Yeah. My Christ swag, yeah uh. This my Christ swag Cardiac yeah. My Christ swag, yeah Look. Uh, my whole style come from Christ yeah. So own it, no sir, you can't put a price Like white on rice, I got his blood on me To be honest, I just care about my guy, homie And if I'm only living for him It don't really even matter what y'all think of me Opinions, you can let them be I'm killing it, I let them see The old me is gone Keep the demons out my heart Then Christ find a home yeah. No more Patron or Nitrous I might just give God a praise with my best He's high, yes, glory in here, hallelujah. hallelujah, yes sir, put my trust in the Lord, I ain't having no fear, no I don't have a care, besides pleasing my father, tell any hater you see man, don't even bother, cause Jesus is my medicine, I ain't never hurting, catching waves of his glory, man I'm Christ swag serving, yeah. Yeah. I talk, talk, just the way I walk, walk, been set free, cause my father paid the cost, cost. no I'm not perfect, 
God just forgave me. Got a new swag, praising Christ like I'm crazy. This my Christ way. Yeah. My Christ way. Yeah. Uh-huh. This my Christ way. Okay. Nah. My Christ way. Yeah. This my Christ way. Yeah. My Christ way. Yeah. Uh-huh. This my Christ way. God squad. My Christ way. Yeah. Lie, uh, okay, I get it from my father uh-huh. Head to toe, swinging on that word, that's the motto yeah. Used to be a up or down, flipper like the lotto uh-huh. Roll with big drink and ST, old squad uh-huh. though Now I'm uh-huh. aiming at the world with that blessed go yeah. Hard repetition, stay flexing, holy rollers know uh-huh. When you see that light shine, this ain't baby doe He ain't got a VVS on him, what a freak show uh-huh. nah. No, but I'm close with my father though yeah. I ain't Leroy, but the boy got a lot of Glow, took a whole lot of land out to kill his ego uh-huh. Missing my whole purpose like Shaq with some free throws uh-huh. If you rap in vain, can't edify the people uh-huh. Swag on 100, gaining speed, adios flow And I'm top flow, uh-huh. reaching for his glory You think I got some swag, Christ the one that poured it on me I talk, talk, check the way I walk Been set free, cause my father paid the cost No, I'm not perfect, God just forgave me Got a new swag, praising Christ like I'm crazy This my Christ way, yeah. My Christ way, yeah. Uh-huh. This my Christ way, okay. My Christ way, yeah. This my Christ way, yeah. My Christ way, yeah. Uh-huh. This my Christ way. My Christ way, yeah. 